Hey everyone, so today we are decluttering and cleaning and organizing my office closet. So I've kind of taken you in this space before when I did my makeup declutter. So we have been in this space before and actually I was going to do my entire closet during the makeup declutter but it took me way too long to get through my makeup and organize that. So I decided to do two separate videos. So we are back in the office closet. I'm going through everything else in there, the shelves, the drawers, all the rest of the stuff. There's gonna be one entire Ikea storage system that I'm not going to be showing you or touching because that's all the makeup decluttering and organizing that we did before. And I'll put a card up here if you haven't seen it yet. Um, if you wanted to check that out and how I store my makeup, but we're going through the other Ikea storage system in this closet and it had a whole lot of crafting, art supplies. Uh, I wanted to do a drawer that had all cosplay or Halloween makeup kind of stuff, prosthetics uh, and contact lenses, all that stuff in one little drawer. Also had camera equipment, stickers, stationery, so all that kind of stuff I'm gonna be organizing today. Uh, also, before we get into this, this is worth mentioning. I filmed this in late January, early February. Maybe it was early February because I had my nails, the last set of nails I had on, which I don't have them on anymore, uh, and they were fresh. So I want to say it was February sometime. So I mentioned that I gotten some things from Ikea and how I was donating things. So this was before all of this happened, when you could just go out and get non-essential items whenever you wanted. Oh, and yeah, those days. It was just a different world we were living in, so. So anyways, that being said, if you wanna see how I organize my office closet and all my crafting supplies and wigs and cosplay stuff and all of my camera equipment, then just keep watching. All right, so here's what my office closet looked like before, and I showed a little bit of this when I did my makeup decluttering video, and I meant to get to this whole closet. It was supposed to be a whole closet makeover, but the makeup took up the majority of the time. So here we are. We're back in the closet, and we're trying to get it organized and decluttered. As you can see, I just had just random stuff everywhere, and I do have some IKEA storage systems here but uh, they were overflow with as well, except for the makeup one, which I did. I'll link that or put a card here if you wanted to watch that so you could see uh, the Alex 9 drawer on the right-hand side. I organized all of that. So here I'm working on the other drawer and you could see everything is just falling out. Everything is just overflowing and nothing really has, like a couple things have a container in, you'll see here, I had some containers that I was trying to do, but then it just ended up being, uh, <laughs> A mess, just a whole mess. Um, so here I'm just emptying all the drawers that have crafting things in it. So crafting, drawing, any sort of art supplies, those types of things I am emptying out completely or any drawers that were meant for that type of stuff I'm emptying out. So I have random things in here like buttons and uh, you'll see a calculator here coming up. I did end up using a piece of tape to pick up all those random rhinestones, by the way, which was a major pro tip in my opinion, <laughs> especially since I still have my claws on at this point. So just imagining picking up every last rhinestone with those claws. Oh God, I totally would have done something like that, but I was thinking on my feet this day. Anyways, uh, just taking all of my art supplies and uh, any crafts, arts and crafts, anything like that is what I'm taking out and I'm putting them all on the floor because that was really my only solution for all of this stuff and to just be able to go through and declutter everything all together, I just put it all on the floor and made myself a little spot. It's basically an entire Michael's mound. All right, starting off, I just jumped right in and grabbed the first thing I saw, which was just taking a trip down memory lane with my drawing book. But I also grabbed some folders that had some old papers in it from old classes that I took and just started grabbing things and sorting them for the most part. So just tossing all of the art supplies together, all my folders and notebooks together. I went ahead and cleaned out the folders at this point just so I could get it out of the way and took out any papers that I didn't need anymore or that I had you know, had from an old class or something that I didn't care about anymore. Also went through stickers, put all those together and just kind of started grabbing and making some quick decisions just right off the bat. Uh, these are mainly my obvious no decisions. Like I know I don't want this, so I'm either donating it or or recycling it and just making my quick decisions. A lot of these were pretty obvious because some sticker books were completely used and needed to be recycled. Uh, I had duplicates of notepads or too many notepads or too many notebooks that, and since I'm not going back to college, I don't really use notebooks as much anymore. So 
I just tore out and recycled the pages that had any writing on them and then just donated a lot of them. Some of them I did end up keeping just so I could have them to scribble down notes or right now I'm using them for grocery lists so I don't have my phone out while I am out in the world, the grocery world. But yeah, pretty much just going through everything and making some quick decisions. This kind of stuff for me in general is pretty easy for me to make a call. My closet, like my my clothing closet, <laughs> not so easy to make a decision. But like there were random pom-pom things. I don't even know what I use those for. I think I used them for an art project once like five years ago. Uh, also had some random tool that I had used for uh, my when my sister-in-law had a baby shower. Uh, that was about four years ago and I still haven't used it. So I went ahead and donated it. So things like that ribbon tool or like little pom-poms, little, I don't know what else I even had in there, random little foam sticker things, uh, those types of things. I just, I haven't used them for a long time, so I don't see myself using it. Plus they were taking up a lot of space. And if I did want to use that kind of stuff again, chances are I'm gonna want a different color or want it to look different or have something specific in mind. So for me, that was kind of my thought process as I was... <laughs> decluttering things because I always have to have some sort of uh, reason um, because I because I always have to have a reason to talk myself out of keeping things. It, this is just my life. So anyways, that was my that was in my mind that I'll probably use something different uh, anyways. Or like I had two different red and white striped peppermint style holiday ribbon and I liked one of them better than the other one. So I kept the one I liked and then, you know, donated the other one. Uh, also started sorting through any paint paints or glitters, also uh, pens, Sharpies, mechanical pencils. I started putting in this little tin thing from Ikea and just started putting them in there just so it will make my life easier later when I'm organizing everything. Um, so at this point, I started organizing the little plastic container that was going to go back in the drawer. This one is from Ikea. And so I kind of put all the paints and the Mod Podge and glues together, glitters together. And then I have little clothes pins and those pins and pencils and all the things that I had put in that tin container before. I started going through each and every one and took a piece of paper and just started scribbling on the paper to see which ones still had ink, which ones had dried out, uh, which mechanical pencils were still functional, and made my decisions from there. All right, so I was kind of surprised because my whole pencil, pen, Sharpie situation, like, I feel like decluttering made the most difference here. I don't know if it's because it's easy for these things to kind of build up over time so you don't notice, but uh, I had enough mechanical pencils to last me 10 lifetimes. I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know if just every fall I bought a new thing of mechanical pencils because either I didn't know where they were or it was the nostalgia of it all, but I had way too many and had to donate a bunch of them. Uh, but I kept the ones, I really kind of just ended up color coding them and just doing, keeping the colors that I liked that were aesthetically pleasing because I had to be a raging Libra like that. But I did end up putting a lot in my donate pile. And actually, now that I think of it, it might be worth it to ask some teacher friends or check with some schools to see uh, if they're taking any donations or if they need any supplies. If you do have a lot of art supplies, things like that. Uh, that's something I will consider. Anyways, moving on to camera equipment. I dug out all of my electronics, camera equipment, headphones, batteries, all the random uh things that have to do with either technologies or accessories or manuals, things like that, that go with technologies. <laughs> um, just taking everything out. Oh, and including a random hammer and some confetti. So here I'm doing basically the same thing as before where I'm sorting things or categorizing things. So putting all my cords together, uh, all chargers together, batteries together, all those types of things, and seeing if there's any cords that I no longer use or need. And all my cords go into, I put them into this little makeup pouch, which is, it's been a really good solution to put little extra cords or chargers or things like that into a pouch. That way, if I'm looking for a charger or a cord of some sort, I just reach for the whole pouch and don't have to dig through an entire drawer just tangled up. So I took care of that early just so I didn't have a bunch of cords laying around and then just continued to go through stuff and a lot of this stuff I didn't even know I had. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> All right, also I came across some manuals while I was going through everything. And my whole take on manuals basically is you can find almost every single manual online. So if it's something like an appliance, like a refrigerator or something like that, that I'm not going to resell, uh, I definitely don't keep my manuals because I can just look it up online if I need to. 
But uh, for anything that I plan on reselling, camera equipment, that when I upgrade, I might resell my old one, that kind of stuff I do hold on to. And you'll see here coming up that I also hold on to the boxes for my cameras as well. So when I resell them, I have the boxes, the manuals, all the things that you need that are nice and fancy and can pass it on. Uh, but here I'm just dividing up my manuals and putting some back into their boxes. And then the ones that I'm currently using, I kept them out or kept them in the drawer. But I might end up putting them in the boxes too, just because I don't really, I, I look everything up online. So here I'm using an art supply box. I got this from Michael's around back to school. These things are awesome. I want to get some more of these for storage here when uh, back to school rolls around again, if anything is open. Uh, but, but here I stored some extra camera equipment. So I have some camera battery chargers and a flash I believe I threw in there. Here I am taking a pencil organizer, I think is what it it's supposed to be, but I took my straps for my cameras and folded them up or wrapped them around my hand and kind of rolled them up and placed them in this little pencil box so I could see all of my different straps and grab which one I needed whenever I need it. And I also took my lens off of my Canon and stored that all nice and fancy so uh, it doesn't get all dusty. Uh, and then you'll see here that I started organizing my camera stuff in the this little Ikea organizer because I was going to put it back in the drawer area but I ended up changing what I was doing completely. You'll see here coming up how I ended up storing it. But anyways, before I start putting everything back, I started cleaning up the rest of the closet. So I took, I had like boxes of random, there were more pencils in that, if you can believe it, more mechanical pencils uh, that just started clearing off all the shelves. And like you'll see here, I had camera boxes, random photo boxes, uh, boxes with wigs in them or extensions in them, a Ouija board. I had a bunch of old diaries and journals, a trophy from a Halloween contest, <laughs> feathers, candles, hanger, like all this random stuff. Oh, a Lance Bass bobblehead. Yeah, that's, that's what that is. And a mermaid statue. <laughs> If this isn't random, then I don't know what is. So anyways, just clearing everything off to sort through. All right, so we are back on the floor in our spot and we are going through all the random things that have, I don't even know. <laughs> I have no words for, this is just all, this is pure miscellaneous is what this is. But I'm starting off with wigs. So I'm going through all of my wigs and sorting through them and seeing if I had any duplicate styles or colors or seeing how I kind of wanted to end up organizing them. Any wigs that didn't have a bag it was in or netting or anything it was in, I went ahead and put in a plastic Ziploc type bag. These ones are from Ikea. They're just really large plastic baggies and they seal shut. Uh, so then I squeezed all the air out of them and just kind of sealed them. And then to store them, I put them in these woven bins from Ikea. I was really looking for some black bins and I liked the look of these because I wanted my bins in my closet to be all black and white. Uh, I found these, they do not have a lid, which is my only qualm with them. But since everything was covered in plastic, I thought I'd be all right. So uh, one bin had all natural hair color wigs and the other bin had all pastel, bright color, fashion color, funky type of wigs. So that's what I'm doing here. And I had four bins total. So in the other two bins, uh, this one I ended up putting um, any camera boxes or any camera equipment, like my monitor, things like that. Boxes that I might need if I decide to upgrade or if slash when I upgrade and we need to keep the boxes for. And then in the other bin, I ended up putting my bags for any of my tripods or my backdrop stand, anything that I might need if I am traveling and doing any sort of video or photography or anything like that. That way it makes for easy travel. So that's kind of what I did there. All right, so since I wanted all my storage solutions or boxes in my closet to be black and white, I picked up these white, they're kind of photo boxes is what they are from Ikea. And you can put whatever you want in them. I actually ended up putting a bunch of my old journals in them. Then I took another walk down memory lane and started going through these old nail polishes. I didn't even know I had this box still, but I guess I put it in this closet and totally forgot about it. All of these nail polishes are old. The only ones I kept, honestly, were the ones that were really nostalgic to me, which were some old limited two bottles, some gap bottles. I just kept my old school bottles and put them in a little nostalgic, or it's like a box of nostalgia, basically. So anything that was still in really good condition, I kept, but there honestly wasn't a lot here. A lot of ones that just like, even when you shook it, could not be 
uh, could not be salvaged. Lots of dried up stuff as well. All right, so the top two drawers of this little storage unit thing are very thin. So, so in the top drawer, I put a bunch of folders and in the second drawer, I put some of my drawing pads. In the next drawer, I put back in the Ikea insert that we had organized earlier. So this drawer mainly has art supplies or crafting supplies. So I have some markers, some pens, Sharpies, uh, watercolors, my glue gun, tape, washi tape. And I actually ended up storing my washi tape in an old Apple watch box. It's the perfect width. It's just kind of like a thin box. Fits all sorts of tape, washi tape, electrical tape, all the things. I always try to use old boxes I have laying around if I can, so I don't have to spend money on any sort of organizer. But yeah, that one worked really well for washi tape if you're looking for something to help organize that. So anyways, this next drawer is my cosplay drawer or my Halloween makeup drawer that I kind of talked about earlier that I wanted to do. This was a huge must have for me because before I had it just thrown in this drawer that wasn't really big enough for all of my kind of Halloween makeup. And I wanted a place that I could go to and grab my contact lenses or any face paint or prosthetics, but have them organized to where I could easily grab them. So I have my liquid face paint on one side of the divider or then my solid paints in the other one. Uh, in the front little divider, I have any fake blood, fake demon blood, or, you know, just like black ooze. And then in the back, I have my contact lenses. I have some glitter. And then in the front and on the sides, I have all my prosthetics. So I have like random noses and chins and ears and teeth, things like that. And rhinestones or stencils, all those kind of things went on the sides of where the kind of insert that kind of left any gaps that it left there. And from here, just organizing and reorganizing as I start getting more things in this drawer until it makes sense and things are kind of lined up and look nice and fancy and uh, things are kind of categorized. So you'll see I have like my stencils and my rhinestones together, all my prosthetics together, all my blood together, all my paints together. So it's all kind of categorized in one drawer. Not gonna lie, I'm probably the most excited about that Halloween drawer. Can't wait for this year. Anyways, next drawer, I ended up cleaning it out a little bit. It looked like there was some stuff at the bottom. And uh, I, oh, I ended up putting a bunch of accessories, like Halloween accessories. So I had some ears, some gremlin ears, some feathery kind of situations, uh, flowers, I think a flower crown or something like that, that kind of stuff goes in here. And then from there, I'm just cleaning out the rest of my closet, emptying it out, and then taking the love of my life, aka my vacuum. Just kidding, my husband and my dogs, but you know. Okay, so Dyson is number four, but I'm taking my Dyson handheld and doing my thing and cleaning out everything and getting in all the nooks and crannies and not having to lift a huge vacuum around the place. So uh, just getting all of this the stuff cleaned up, wiping it down with my Mrs. Meyers Clean Day uh, all-purpose spray in the orange clove scent because I'm still living in fall. I need, I'm just pretending it's fall right now because I just need it to be. Uh, anyways, wiping down all of the uh, storage solutions or storage cabinets, drawers, whatever you want to call them, and just getting the outside. I'd already cleaned the inside of all of these drawers. I did the makeup ones when we did the makeup declutter, and I had just cleaned out all the drawers in the other one as I was putting things away. So uh, just getting the outside, wiping it all down, getting any fingerprints off of it, and getting it all nice and clean. All right, so next I started putting the bins where I'd put my wigs and camera equipment, and I think I had the, that tripod equipment uh, in these bins. I started putting them on the top shelf of the closet and uh, just lined them up and left some space in the center for the white photo boxes where I had put my journals in one of them. And, and then the other white box kind of ended up being a nostalgia type of box where I put the Lance Bass bobblehead, my nail polishes that I saved. And I think I even put my old teddy bear in there, just things that I don't want out every day, but that I still want to keep. And then I also hung up some clothes that I needed to film for a haul. And on the other side of the closet, I rolled up some of my cloth backdrops and just kind of leaned them against the wall until I can think of a better solution. By the way, that plastic thing on the floor is where I store all my old photos. All right, so to finish off the closet area, I decided to put a little black photo box. This actually has a bunch of old memories, like um, concert stubs, movie stubs, birthday cards, things like that, that my husband and I have exchanged over the years. 
And then I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to display my witchy box that I got last year during Halloween time at Joann's. And then the polka dot photo box has a bunch of photos in it. And I believe my stepmom got that from TJ Maxx. But um, just wanted to add a little bit of decor and some pattern. And then I also added a silver skull for good measure. Uh, that one is from Z Gallery. So anyways, okay, so moving on, this isn't technically my closet, but I had bought this little drawer solution thing uh, that I had not included in my, when I cleaned my office out. Uh, so I bought this initially to store camera equipment, but I realized I had a lot of mechanical pencils and some pins and some felt tip pins and highlighters that I still needed a place for. So I ended up putting those in the top drawer. So this is something I can easily reach for. It also freed up some space on my desk and in my desk drawer. So it was really nice. I just used a bunch of random pencil dividers from all over the place. Some were from Home Goods. Some are from Target that I've collected over the years and just kind of put them all together and it ended up looking cohesive. So it works for me. But yeah, just stored all my pens, just divided them up by highlighters, ballpoint, felt tip, and then of course my mechanical pencils in the front. And that's pretty much what I did there. And then in the next drawer, I had already thrown in a bunch of my stickers and my stationery because I didn't want it to get messed up. So I threw it in there to organize later. So that's what I'm doing here. So I took my stationery my th little thank you cards and things like that uh, the little ones and I stacked them I kind of stood those ones up because they were small enough but the larger cards I had to lay down next to the smaller cards and just divided them up by you know holiday or occasion or whatnot and then just kind of stacked them there then I went ahead and put my stickers in here and uh, I just put the larger sticker pads at the bottom and the smaller ones at the top but it ended up working out where it was mainly holiday stickers at the bottom. And then at the top, I had a bunch of planner stickers in the smaller little, uh, whatever those little booklets are. I also had some thank you cards that were already in a plastic container. So I just slid them in there just to make it easy. All right, so moving on, uh, here is where I started storing my camera equipment. This is what I wanted this little drawer set for. Uh, I wanted to be able to reach for different camera equipment whenever I needed it and not have to open my closet door if I have a bunch of lighting set up because my room in here is not very large. So I ended up kind of maneuvering things around and finally decided on how I wanted to do the layout. So on the bottom drawer, I have all of my extra cords, miscellaneous cords, you know, headphones, chargers, random things like that, some USB cords I have extras of. So all that went on the bottom, also manual. And on the drawer up, which you see here I put all my Canon stuff so my uh, Canon Rebel series and my point and shoot and that kind of stuff went on uh, in the drawer above all of my accessories the drawer above that kind of ended up being a couple things it had some of my camera straps I put some of my clamps here but they didn't end up staying here I ended up putting my Sony camera and my charger and I even think I have just a little case for my memory cards and then the drawer above that I put little accessories so my so my microphone and then my clamps I put in here so I could easily grab them. Also, I can wheel that little drawer thing into the closet if I wanted to kind of hide it away. So anyways, this is what my closet looked like before, which isn't the worst thing in my house. If we're being honest, I definitely have seen worse, aka my clothing closet. <laughs> but uh, here is the after, which just makes me feel so much better because it's not just a bunch of random stuff thrown all over the place. It's just very organized and clean and and it doesn't feel so cluttered. Anyways, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed cleaning out my office closet with me. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say hey, ghoul, hey down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. Also, let me know. I always ask you in these videos what kind of uh, what room you're working on or what you're working on decluttering right now. If you want to leave that in the comments as well. I always love hearing what you guys are working on. So anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.